Everybody, this is Perch. Uh, I, there, uh, people don't mean it. I, I don't think they really mean it. I mean, they mean they mean an aspect to it, but they, they don't mean the whole thing. When I see comments uh, along the lines of, uh, the, you know, the comic industry is dead. There's no comics for me. Oh, we're done. There's no, there are no comics anywhere. I've, I've searched, I've searched the terrain and the planet is, is empty of comic life. So I've, sorry, it's gone. Um, you know, I, people don't really mean that because, you know, the same people will come in and talk about current storylines and stuff. So there, there's comics, people are reading it, but I got this question, which is basically like, you know, I, 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 so I see these videos, I see, you know, different posts and I don't like these comics. These comics are not for me. You know, somebody who's accepting the premise, these comics are not for me. What, what do I do? I still like comics. You know, the inner warrior spirit calls out for comics. That sounds pretty cheesy. Anyway, uh, people still want comics. It, you know, actually, I'm going to re revert a little bit. I think there is something instinctual that a lot of people have to reading graphic novels, to reading this kind of fusion of, of literary plus art coming together. I think there's something powerful in that. I'm not, I won't get too kind of crazy with it. This is These are kind of conversations, by the way. You go to a Comic-Con, and then a bunch of people get high and suddenly you know you're you're drinking shots and people are talking about like caveman times and drawings and how there's a deep primal need for comics. If you ever wondered like what it, what happens when people get really sloppy at a comic convention, this is one of the common com I, I swear to God I, I this this com this conversation has happened so many times at cons. And I don't know. Maybe some of the other creators who are who listen to this can can vouch for this. I don't know. Have you been in have you been trapped in this conversation? It does feel like you're trapped. Because there's no, it's all nonsensical. No good information comes out of it. But the element of truth is, I do think there is a, a pull, a creative pull that people have to comics, to graphic novels. I think that's why they're enduring. I think that's why, um, you know, it, it, and it makes sense. You know, it, it, this is no different from you go to your, your office, your workplace, and you know the, the guy in your office who everybody loves because he makes really good PowerPoint. Uh, it's because if you confuse design and graphics and imagery with a message, it's powerful. It's powerful than just text. It's, it's you know, you, you, you put it together, it's, it's strong. Um, I think people have a natural pull to that type of content. And I think because of that, comics, in theory, should be in a great place to always endure. But, you know, the, the, the question was, was basically, um, I, I want to like comics. I do like comics, but there's no comics out there for me. What am I supposed to do? And my answer was flippant, I, I admit. I think I, I uh, probably irritated the, <laughs> the question because I said, like, find comics you like. I, I'm going through like 60 emails. So I'm like, find comics you like. That's the solution. And, and so I want to kind of apologize. That was too much of a brush off answer. Um, let me give the, the longer one, which is basically... Find comics you like. They're out there. There you go. Uh, no, I think that... Okay, so a little bit of a critique about the comic fans and the comic community uh, as, as such, as, as people do things. It feels like people give up too easily. And in particular, I'm thinking of one thing. And I, this probably is controversial to you, maybe because of the guy behind it, or maybe it was a while back on Twitter... Uh, there was comic complaints, and then there was this this idea, let's make a hashtag called Move the Needle. And the concept behind it was, hey, here are comics that we like. It's these, these You should go buy these. This will move the needle. This will improve sales. This will get readership, and these are comics you like. And granted, I, I just throw it out there, there were definitely some people who used that hashtag to clown on other people. That was, that was I don't believe the intent uh, when it was created, but... People were like, you know, posting up garbage they hated and saying, you know, this will never move the needle, hashtag move the needle. And it's like, that was that was not the point. The point was not to use it to clown on things. The point was to kind of direct people to things that people were buying. And and I think people were encouraged, if, I'm, if this is maybe, my memory may be absolute crap here, but I think that people were posting photos at the time uh, of the comics they bought to kind of prove that they actually bought. Because I think people started using this hashtag and were like, well, you're saying that, but you're not actually buying them. And then you know, so people were wanting receipts because, of course, it's, you know, it's, it, people are terrible. And, and so it, the people that start posting photos proving that they were actually buying these comics. And that was all be, that was a big circle jerk right there. But anyway, the idea was good. And because take all the other stuff about away from it, take the, the tox, toxic nonsense of Twitter just in general, uh, the, any kind of aspect of who created, I think it was, uh, it was, it was Meyer who created that. 
but I don't know. A bunch of people started using it. Um, I think that's correct, though. Somebody will say so in the comments. But it, it, irrespective of all that, the idea was very solid because the idea at its core was recommendation engine. It was, here's a comic I like. Here you go. Some people claim that the purpose of the hashtag was to kind of poke at creators saying, you're giving us a bunch of garbage. Here's stuff we actually like. I don't think that's the case. I mean, I, that would be a stupid reason to do this. Uh, but the right reason was a recommendation engine. It was, these are comics we like. Here we go. You should go check this out. Here's a hashtag so you can see what people are liking. You can sort under that and filter it. Hot, you know, hooray. Unfortunately, a predictable thing happened. Uh, because of some of the people involved, they, the you know, people immediately started in with the move the needle is hate movement and it just all the negativity came in. And here's where I say people gave up too easily. What should have happened is people should have just, you know, blocked or muted or ignored the bozos who were deciding to brand this thing and continued on with their recommendations. They should have said, screw you. Doesn't matter. These are comics we recommend. Turns out on this platform, well, it, <laughs> people are going to hate this statement, but um, instead of constantly getting people blocking you, right? You, you see people running block bots and you hate it and, and it's, it's lousy behavior and why, why, what creator is going to block me and I'm never going to buy their book. How about you turn it around? How about when somebody comes wandering in with their you're a hate person, search your heart, validate, no hate here or whatever, you know, search your reasons. But then just, but just seriously, block those people. People are going to trash you for this kind of stuff. People are going to block them. Yes. Use the tools at your disposal. Do it. Because Simply posting uh, you know, recommendations of comics is a good thing. It's, it's healthy. It's normal. People need to see that stuff. Because the reality is, and you hear me throw this number out a lot, there are 500-odd comics uh, that are put out a month. And that is just printed you know, through Lunar and Diamond. That's not including web comics. It's not including content people are putting out on the side. It's not including any of the crowdfunded stuff. There are hundreds Hundreds of comics a month. Uh, you can go to, I mean, do you like butts? Diamond, Dynamite has you covered. Dynamite's got butts all over the place. Uh, that You can just, there's there butts aplenty there over in Dynamite. And probably other places too. Uh, there, there's the, And that's just current comics. You know, let's get rid of this stigma that somehow if it's not a current comic, it doesn't really count. There are hundreds, hundred, more than 100,000 old comics right now. Have you ever read? The Legion of Superheroes five years later bit back in this would be late eighties. If you haven't, yeah, what are you waiting for? Get out there right now. Find it. Read it. It's amazing. Keith Giffen, it's it's awesome. It's just awesome stuff. Are you one of the people who are like, I can't stand this this bendis word salad of a page? If that's you, get out there right now. Don't delay. Stop this video. Find the Keith Giffen five years later Legion and start reading it. It's amazing. This is amazing comics. And if my recommendation sucks, then don't listen to me in the future and go find something else. There. <laughs> but the, the, the point I'm making is stop for a moment, all the rest of it, all the, all the social stuff, all the, you know, this, this person said that or this or any of that, forget all of it and just become a robot for just a moment. Your goal is to find comics. Your goal is to find stuff that you want to read that'll be enjoyable that will uh, give you your money's worth, whatever it happens to be. That's your goal. All the rest of it is noise. Seek out and find some people who can recommend something for you that you trust. Uh, I will tell you, if you come to me and say, hey, I like uh, A, B, and C, I will, I will be able to match you up. I think pretty confidently I can do it. I have my own things I like. So if you come to me and say, I think I'm going to like everything you like, I'm going to say you're wrong, but sure, I will tell you what I like. But forget about me. Tell me what you like. I'll recommend books back to you. If you can't find comics that you like, please, again, don't, don't take this the wrong way. You're not looking hard enough. Or you're caught in a trap. The trap is you're, you're, being, you're being spun up by you know, what's being marketed and what's being promoted. I wish, this, I've said this before, I wish the inherent things I love would be what is the most popular. It'd be great because then it would be always available to me. I could find another, let love talk about it with people. It'd be wonderful. That's not going to happen. You know, David Lynch is not directing the name, next James Bond movie. That would be incredible, but nope, not going to get it. I've made my peace with that. So 
<laughs> you have to make your peace with the fact that what you want, what you like, may not be the most popular book. However, there's a there's not just a good chance, there's a 100% chance that somewhere of those 500 plus books being published a month, something there matches you. It is there. Have faith. It is it is there. And by the way, that's that's again, that's North American comics. You want to throw in what they're doing over in Europe or or Japan? But if you tell me, you know, I can't stand manga, I won't read anything that's not from the America, and I don't like anything that the big two or any of the indies are publishing, and I won't go to web comics. Well, I mean, okay, you know, <laughs> at that point, you're 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 opting out of everything. That's like saying I won't eat food. You know, it's not saying I can't stand Italian, so don't serve me Italian. It's saying I won't eat anything. It's it's uh, it's kind of like I, I have a I have a friend who's. Uh, uh, friend is actually way too strong a word. This person annoys the crap out of me, actually. Uh, they're probably listening right now. Anyway, they're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyway, they, they've decided to be a vegan. But vegan wasn't enough. They want to be a vegan, and they want the uh, working conditions of the farms that produce the food that they will eat to fit a certain model. And it just kept going. The list of, of requirements of what makes up food was absurd. Absurd to the point that, like, and I, I'm like, you can't eat anything. And was like, well, I found this one place that makes grain and it's like flavored. And it's, you, could, you could put some, so it's, it's, a person looks unhealthy. Of course they're unhealthy. They're not eating anything. I mean, you, you could you be whatever you want. You be vegetarian, vegan, eat only meat, uh, keto diet. I, I mean, you, you go nuts. You eat, you eat, but you got to eat something. You can't just eat nothing. And if you, <laughs> I, I'm off on you, you get what I mean. Um, I think that. This uh, this move the needle uh, concept, which is now like this is a couple of years ago, right? It feels like people abandoned it too quickly. It feels like it got some resistance. People are like, up oh, hate movement, and people all walked away. Like I don't I don't want to be part of a hate movement. Where what should have happened was it's like screw you, I'm gonna continue to post this, and you can go piss off. Uh, <laughs> that, I wish that would have happened. I just I think that. And, and I, I know there's reasons and, and everything else, and it's no good if people are calling you a hateful person and all the rest, for sure. But we've got to start just drawing the line a little bit. And, and basic comic book recommendations are not emotional. They're not hateful. They're not joyous. They're, they're just recommendations. And we need more recommendations out there because there are a ton of comics that you can buy. A ton. You, you are not for want of comics. Uh, but you know, it, we, we, we got to bring some of that stuff back. I, I, I wish, I don't know. It, it felt like that people gave up on that thing too quickly. And, and, uh, I'm like, yeah, no, it, it, that was a, that was a good thing. That, that, that's just me. I, I think if you're feeling disheartened, if you're feeling like, oh man, there's no comics for me, um, there are comics for you. They are out there. They exist. Uh, there, there, there's content that will, that will work. It may not be as much as you want. I mean, I don't know. How much do you want? But there are comics out there for you. You can find them. And if, if, if you're having trouble finding them, then consider changing up your search. You know, start looking in different places. Start taking recommendations from different people. That is the secret. That is, as they say on Disney Plus, that is the way. Is that what they say on Disney Plus? I, think the, I don't know what they say on Disney Plus. Um... <laughs> Anyway, is Wanda crazy yet in WandaVision? I think that, I don't know. What do you think? Where are places that you go to get your recommendations for comics? Do you go to, you go online? Do you go to social media? Do you look at news sites? Where are you going to get your recommendations for comics? Help some people out. You know, give some people some suggestions of where they can find comics. There are plenty of places where comics can be found. Where are you going? How do we set up a recommendation engine for people? How do we get back to that? Because that was a good thing. Let's, let's get that returned. Uh, like and subscribe. Comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, let's find comics. They're out there. I, I, this, this is a, a happy, lovey message video. It's a practical one. You can find comics. You, you just may have to start looking in some different places. And it's worth the journey. Comics are cool. Just got just to gotta find them. Thanks for listening.